hello <laughs> how are you doing i hope you're doing great you're doing fine so today i'm going to show you my little garden yeah i have a little garden beside my house where i manage to do some small 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 gardening and planting some important medicines <laughs> it's not a whole lot but i'm going to show you some little and then we'll learn from some of them what they are what you can use them for Okay, so just join me as I take you around. I've actually abandoned it. I don't have time these days. In fact, for a long time, I don't have time. Before, my girl was helping me water, clear it, clear it up. I have a writer, she's not even around, so it has been abandoned. I just go block, take whatever I want to take, and I go away. Or I call my plant in Newton. Um, luckily, it's besides our tank. So when the tank gets full and pouring, the water is watering the plants for me. So I just leave them there. But it's all bushy. <laughs> You're going to see it. Okay, so watch till the end. Don't go anywhere. At the end of it, I'm going to give you some gardening tips to use containers and the rest of them and things to use your natural fertilizers, things to help you do some small, small farm work around you. Okay, no matter the environment where you are whether in your rented properties or wherever you are you can do small some of this little gardening so stay tuned to the end and get the best from this video thank you so join me let's go see it <laughs> okay so we're starting from this this is my wonderful medicine and this is called the senna alata leaf okay i don't know if you know it but if you don't know it uh, you might be learning it for the first time and that's the essence of this video to teach you some little little medicinal plants few of them here okay so this is senna latan um i actually got this from lagos thank you dr joel that's the the plant you sent for me yeah he sent me seedlings yeah to to plant so i paid for way bill and i brought it down to portacot you know when i like a medicine or i like a plant i go for it <laughs> all right so what does senna Alata do Okay, this is Senna Lata. It's great. It's highly known for its um, laxative uses. Yeah, generally known for laxative. You could use it for column cleaning, those sort of clean column and the rest of them. This is a very good plant to clean your column, to make you go to toilet. If you can go to toilet for days, this plant will do that for you. Yeah, you might be seeing it around you in your area, but you might not know the uses of, or what is being used for you can see it's beautiful flowers oh wow and that's why it's at times called the uh, candu candle tree yeah they call it candle tree because of the flower the flower looks like a candu you can see beautiful flowers are blooming oh my <laughs> sometimes i just come out of the earth and i just look at the the the, the flowers beautiful with this yellow color and blooming okay so there are other uses for it you could use it for pile yeah those who are having pile this is one medic highly medicinal plant that could help it's also known as the ringworm shrub because it's great for ringworm when it comes to ringworm in fact skin reactions skin diseases such as ringworm eczema scabies call them different psoriasis different issues even rashes okay so it's very good for skin reaction in fact it's one of the herbs i do add to my soap yeah my skin reaction soap my pimple soap yeah it's one of the herbs we normally add to it it's a very great herb okay so it's good for asthma some use it for asthma treatment some use it for wounds some use it for warm it's antifungal 
so it's, it's great for fungal infections it's anti-inflammatory anti-tumor constipation pile is used for different things so it's a very powerful tree you're seeing here okay well if you notice i planted it in a container yeah i when it when it was still little i had to when i was starting it up i start i use the container with the mind that i'm going to transplant it when it start growing out i cannot transfer maybe to the ground or so but you can see i never had time to start transplanting also i've really left it there for so long yeah but i've experienced it this in time past what it can do a tree i planted a kind of tree in a container like this at some point when it becomes too strong for it it can even bust through through the through the rubber and then dig itself to the ground so it goes the roots will go down to the ground so not really an issue provided your plant is doing well you don't really have a problem because it, it will find its way there are some plants that can't survive like that they might die yeah in the bucket when they are too big for it but some of them could stand for it so provided it's growing and doing well i just decided just to leave it i don't have i've not really had time okay so our next one we're going over to is our jatro fat and <laughs> that's called hospital too far yeah it's popularly known as hospital too far the Yorubas call it ianai paja okay i hope i pronounce it right so many people call it but the popular name is known for its hospital too far I think they have this belief that if you're taking it hospital will be far from you yeah and really that's how great this plant is this is how the leaves look like yeah as a highly medicinal plant okay so this is called the hospital too far it could boost your blood very fast yeah so it can be taken as tea or it can be juiced but if you want to juice you 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 boil it for like three minutes three to five minutes before you can juice it don't take it raw because it's toxic when you take it raw so it's not advisable to take this raw those the many persons don't know this they take it raw they juice it and they add milk to it no you boil it a little before you drink it okay so you can cook it you can add it to your yam porridge you can add it to your as um, um to soups but i'm even planning one to use it with um what do they call it um water leaf yeah to make soup i've not tried that before but i'm planning it i've actually done a vegetable soup with it just eat alone although I, it's like i missed ugu with it yeah and it was nice okay so you can eat it as food you can you can blend it as juice but boil it first before you blend it so it can boost your blood level and can give you other nutrients it's rich in iron it's rich in vitamin a it's rich in protein it's rich in fiber it's very good for your body okay so apart from blood some use for bp issue some use for blood circulation some use for diabetics so depends some use to boost calcium level because it's also rich in calcium some use it to improve memory it's antimicrobial okay so some it's also anti-cancer now it's good for skin issues too okay so some people also use it for scorpion sting lack of sleep diarrhea liver issues etc okay so it has a whole lot of health benefits so if you don't want to juice this or drink like that you can just add it to your porridge porridge yam vegetable sauce and the rest of them you can make use of it that way okay so let's go over to the next one okay so this is justicia cania okay so this is the one you saw me drinking in my other video i can put the link down for you okay so i've done a video on this with some of the benefits it's also a blood booster yeah when you 
make tea with it it turns red it turns red you can see i have a whole lot of it growing around me okay it's growing and becoming bushy okay so it's boost blood i think i heard it's even faster it boosts faster than um hospital too far yeah just in a in a short time we can boost your blood level so high so this can save you can take them when you're even recovering from illnesses you can drink them like tea go you can go back to watch my other video i make made on it on the tea it turns red like subo when you boil them okay so besides it you can see some things like sticks yeah i just pinned them a few days ago before this video not too long it's called cactus afa also uh, popularly known as monkey sugar cane okay it's another powerful medicinal plant yeah both the leaves and the stem are highly medicinal okay you can chew the stem like you chew sugar uh, sugar cane peel it off and then you chew you can chew it like that you can use to prepare medicine i use it for infection medicine okay okay so that's my aloe vera i guess you all know aloe vera i have them in other smaller buckets small small buckets around inside just showing that one the bigger ones have even have sold them out yeah just the small small species remaining and this is my peperomia is a weed growing as a weed there is an edible weed yeah some of you don't know it when you see it besides your plant see it growing around you cut it off you weed it off and you throw it away that's an edible weed there are some weeds that are edible you don't throw them off you can eat it this leaf peperomia can be added to your uh, to your salad can be made as tea it's very good and medicinal i use for arthritis yeah use for pain sometimes when i have pains i juice it and i drink it's good for ulcer it's good for bones it's a whole lot of um, medicinal property yeah so you don't just weed them away so if you're weeding them off stop it start eating them it's an edible weed i'll show you some other weed that are edible which which is growing around when i have them around i don't throw them away i don't weed them off yeah i allow them to grow so this is called peperomia or shining bush okay so you can make use of that okay and that is my damiana my damiana okay i needed to use it for a client the other time i went looking for it where i saw it in fact i made a video on it uh i'll try to see how to post that video on the tea it's a great aphrodisiac herb yeah i needed to use it for a client so after using it i had to plant some so that i can get some around handy that i can quickly use for any person who needs it okay so maybe when the video when i work on that video on demiana i can post it all right if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe and click the notification button so that you get notified when i bring videos so when i post wonderful videos like this with other herbs you get to benefit from them all right thank you just click 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 subscribe thank you so this is another edible weed called philanthus from the philanthus family okay now philanthus is usually in two type philanthus neruri or philanthus amaros okay they are both similar and can be used in similar ways they are great weeds we see them around us we see them growing around us some so a lot on the road and everywhere but we just weed them off like weed now this is one of the the med a medicinal weed 
great for kidney issues you have kidney issues kidney stones too yeah if you have kidney so if it is called the stone breaker usually called the stone breaker works for kidney stone work for kidney issues it's a great herb when it comes to prostrate yeah prostrate enlargement you can take this as tea it's going to help you and it works for a whole lot of things it's a medicinal weed so you don't throw it away you can make use of it so you can identify them through these little seeds at the back if you turn the back of the leaf you see some seeds that's how you identify it so next are uh, my turmeric yeah that's my turmeric planted in bag i use bag to plant it i've actually harvested some sets of them yeah i've harvested some okay, let's say i've harvested the first batch so it's still growing and coming up okay so that's my turmeric you can use your bag you can use buckets you can use whatever to plant your turmeric and you get your turmeric roots to use at home okay so that's also philanthus growing in another container as as a weed now besides it you can see one i'm saying it there the nettle leaf at the back of it okay let me zoom my camera okay that's it the nettle leaf yeah this is the wood nettle the, in the nettle family we have the stingy nettle we have the wood nettle this is the wood nettle is a weed but it's an edible weed yes one of the edible weeds you can take and this is very delicious you can make it as stew you can make add it to stew you can make it as soup you can make it as veggies you can make it as your as your your salad it actually stings too like the stingy nettle because it has some um sharp things that pierces you so you don't touch it with your hand when you're harvesting by the stem you actually root it i mean use wear a glove to cut it off it's highly medicinal highly highly medicinal rich nutritious good for arthritis too good for bp issues good for your hair is a whole lot of things it's, it has similar benefits like the stinging nettle but it's the wood nettle it's best eating when the leaves are tender small like this than when it becomes big because when it's bigger it becomes toxic okay so it's the wood nettle in taste is more delicious than the the stinging nettle but they are all of the same family okay still on our tour we're learning a whole lot now look at that see some of my leaves my plants are dried off they've been abandoned so they are drying off i guess those are my mints drying off on the floor okay so this is did you see that that's called a scissors <laughs> the bone setter hub you see this hub when you talk of bone fracture bones and the rest of it this hub is powerful it's baba for it so they call it the bone setter it's called a scissors yeah i actually got it from one other doctor here in portaco dr moses when i went to visit him i saw it in his farm so he gave me that to plant okay so it's doing well too now this is my wild lettuce is already gone i used to have them much i used to have them so much before feel everywhere but they are dying off i ate from them too yeah you can see how uh withered it looks but wild lettuce the wild lettuce okay so next is my um miracle leaf my resurrection plant this is one of my best hab don't mind me I just let it be. See, it's even falling off and shrinking. It's like dying off. But it's a never dying leaf. So it will continue blooming even if it's been abandoned. My neighbor actually have, have it planted. So we have a whole lot there. So most times that's where I use from. 
maybe that's why i didn't care to put my mind in that one yeah but that's another miracle highly medicinal leaf great for cough great for respiratory issues asthma a whole lot of it i don't play with that herb okay i did one separate video on it um, i want to add some more things to it then i'll post it for us okay on the miracle leaf bryphilium pinatum okay okay so now look at these these are senna <laughs> senna's has been finished they have been eaten by some of these bugs you can see i have some of them there yeah snails another pest like caterpillars you can see some of them on that plant they can destroy your plant now caterpillars can eat up your plant or destroy your plant but they can also be beneficial that's when they turn to butterflies when they turn to butterflies they can be beneficial to your plant because they can pollinate your flowers for you now sometimes 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 the, the caterpillars can also stimulate the plants to do well and sometimes they can destroy your plants so if you don't want want the, your plants to go that bad like this by insects you could spray some natural pesticides like neem the neem oil can help you protect your plants against pests like i told you this farm has been abandoned so i don't have somebody helping me take take care of them for now so that's why it's like that okay but if not the neem oil can help you prevent that now your neem oil also papaya leaf yeah the purple leaf if you pluck the purple leaf the purple leaf can help you can mix with lemongrass purple leaf lemongrass and maybe your name soak them soak soak the purple leaf and lemongrass into water overnight use the water add some neem leaves to it and then spray over your plant they act as natural pesticide to prevent pests from destroying your plant okay so this can be useful tips for you all right so this is my plant my garden so you have seen my little plants or let's say medicinal garden i used to have a whole lot of them yeah i used to have goat cola i used to have scent leaf i used to have some veggies like spinach a whole lot of them potato yeah some of them i, I use from them and but i let them die off you can even see my mint my mint there they were dried off even mint too okay so you can do some of this little little gardening in your area no matter your space yeah even if it's a rented apartment or a rented space you have a small space you can have them handy so that you can just when you plant a little of these things you could just go and plug it out and then make use of them whenever you want to you understand yeah like these medicinal ones i just focus on i can't get them anywhere i can get ugu easily in the market i can get the ones easily in the market but i can't get them i just go to the market and i pick some of all these ones so that's why sometimes i just plant them around me so that when i need them i have them handy i just plug them and i get and i make use of them so that is it okay so you could use small small containers like buckets you can even use bags to do some little farming do some little plant if you don't have space it must not be medicines it can even be your vegetables and you eat some some of them the seedlings i mean the these leaves you pluck you just buy you can just plant them in they can grow like the scent leaf when you buy the scent leaf those seeds those the flower on the scent leaf yeah you allow them to dry off when they dry off you can plant that you understand your things like um ugu you need a seed for ugu uh spinach you can buy spinach and just put the stick after using your spinach you put the stick the same thing with scent uh, um and what they call it water leaf you could buy from the market after using the leaves you plant you pin it into your bag into your 
um, containers or just or the floor if you have a space so these are ways you could grow your own food okay you can grow your food during the corona period i think i taught this i actually have a whatsapp platform where i do teach some of all these things a lot of natural things so first i just decided to come on youtube okay so i have people i have I've been teaching these things yeah during the corona period i knew that i taught i taught about this home gardening and a whole lot of persons started it i have been seeing posts ah this is my farm this is how he's doing this is what i just harvested this and it's really really impressive so some some persons have been eating from the little little garden so you can have these little gardens around you little things just use your containers and plant them and all you need to do is just to you create time for them drop your food when you eat you eat your eggs you eat your 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 veggies you throw away like your tomatoes when you do this those very soft tomatoes you just throw away your onion peels you cut and your, those your veggies those your leftover veggies you throw away go and drop them into your plants they help your plants to grow now you have even your eggshells instead of throwing it away they, it it gives calcium to the plants to grow now these are th tips that your plants your those your fruits you just harvest they give them nitrogen they give nitrogen to the plants these are natural fertilizers you can do to help them grow your onions they are very good ashes you get ashes and sprinkle on them they are natural fertilizers for your plants okay so these are simple tips you can do so you grow them handy whether in containers whether on the floor whether around just do some little little gardening yeah it could be medicinal it could be your food these will help you i hope it helps somebody all right go take care of yourself and feel free okay if you want to ask me more questions, you could ask me questions. I will be glad to help and to answer you. Now, if you want me, you can even drop on the comment section. If you want me to do some other videos, just tell me the videos you would like me to shoot. If you want me to, to show videos on maybe planting, you want to understand better, just let me know. I can I will look for a way to create our time. I know my time, my schedules have been so busy these days. Okay, but I'll find time. Just tell me what you want me to do for you and i'll try my possible best if it is in my power and if it's in my reach to give it to you i'll sure give it to you okay so thank you very much and if you're new to this channel you haven't subscribed to my channel do well to click the subscription button and not only that turn on the notification button the bell that bell you see there turn it on so that you can be able to be to get notification when i bring in new videos all right so see you in my next video thank you i hope you've learned one or two things from this little garden thank you bye bye